Okay, Brian's latest invention. Brian's latest invention is what I call the spatula. I don't know what he calls it, but this has been so awesome. It's just a real heavy plate, beveled plate. And what's so cool about it, I'm gonna show you, it's just, it doesn't tear up the, the terrain and the grass like a toothed bucket does. So he just welded up this little fixture so he can uh, turn buckle and tighten the spatula to any, to any bucket. It pops off of there real easy so you can go back to digging. But for backfilling, this has been such a time saver. It just leaves the place looking really nice and I don't have to bring my tractor with a box scraper because he's brought the spatula. So well, let me show you how it works. It won't cut down in the frog is it? So I'm just using two standard binders to hold it on the bucket. Quick change from a, a bigger bucket. And there you go. And now he's back in digging business because we got more digging to do. And here we have the spatula in operation. Woo! Just glides across the grass and doesn't tear it up like your teeth would on your bucket. Just moves a lot of dirt fast. Look at that, it doesn't tear up the ground at all. Pretty slick. Brian comes up with some amazing pieces of equipment that are very helpful on the job. Just stay out of the way. We gotta mix mud so we can't let him backfill too close up here. How it does, he can use it as a scoop, move a lot of dirt. It's a pretty awesome smooth aerator. Works really well for icing cakes, too. See, it just kind of scrapes the top of the ground and it doesn't tear it up. But it's awesome. It saves so much time on backfilling trenches. And it just is an addition to his bucket. It's an old cutter, cutter blade off of a four foot bucket, I believe. Cutting edge off of a four foot bucket. So he's able to move a lot of dirt fast without tearing a place up. Watch him go. And because it's so wide and heavy it just it works pretty darn well and if you put between your blade and the spatula you can get on the side of a ditch and push dirt in and and uh, kind of scoop it together Brian comes up with all sorts of cool tricks so if you did this with a bucket, you have to be really good. See, we can go fast and just go right down to the grass and scoop it over. It doesn't tear up your yard. Just drop it, but it doesn't dig into the dirt. That's so awesome. Now, unless you've run a machine, you wouldn't really appreciate it. But I'm telling you, this thing is just so darn slick. It's got the right weight. That's a Pretty cool gizmo for moving a lot of dirt fast. Then he can push with his blade, fill in. I don't know how you beat that, folks.